Um, I would like to ask you, Mrs. Mr. Aldrin, uh, there are two quotes your character says in the movie, which is the one first that you can't remember when down to hurt, you can't remember how it is uh, when, uh, when you were up there. And uh, I would like to, this is true, still again. And uh, the second quote is uh, that you quoted Jesus Christ when you arrived on the moon and uh, the one who brings a uh, lot of fruit uh, and remains with me and so on. So I would like to, to know something about this too. Thank you. I, I don't really remember saying I don't know what it was like. I, I know quite well what it was like and where, where we were. Uh, and what was going through our mind was the result of uh, years of selection as an astronaut, uh, the, the training that we're involved in, the gradual buildup of achievement uh, throughout my first space flight and, and, and being uh, in the right place many times at the right time, being a part of a team that involves some extremely talented people, very capable, and being a part of, of that and trying to carry things out to the best of my ability. And, and all the tension, all the uh, anticipation and everything that became gradually stored up within us was absorbed and then at a particular moment of putting a foot somewhere, that's the background that I had to whatever feelings I would have after that. Now how can I possibly communicate all of that background to somebody who's thought about it for uh, 10 minutes or so and, and uh, what simpler question can you possibly ask? What was it like? My word, Burks have been written about what it was like, what it's like there. Uh, we're, we're pilots, we're operators, we're not communicators of feelings. If NASA wanted to us to go there to come back to tell you what the feeling was like, we would have concocted all sorts of favorable things. I can try and tell you what you might like to hear, and it wasn't that I was afraid, uh, and it wasn't that, that I was subdued, I was awed by the situation. All of us were very awed by by being there, and, and it was just natural for me to uh, combine uh, a contrasting uh, pair of words. Uh, it, it wasn't what I would say a, a beautiful sight. That doesn't capture. It was magnificent. Why? Because of human achievement throughout the ages to progress to a point where an object that has been up in the sky uh, confusing people and then giving them more, more insight to what our lives and world is really about, and they've been dreaming about that moon, that object up there, and all of a sudden, the creatures here on Earth have put together the capability with automobiles, airplanes, rockets, spacecraft, to be able to understand all the intricacies to be able to put a spacecraft and support the lives of creatures who are going to land and, and that is a magnificent achievement. Uh, and, and I really can't think of too many words of, of praise for humanity's uh, progress to have gotten to that point. But I also can't think of any place that I've ever seen that is more desolate <coughs> and totally lifeless than the smoothest spot that NASA could pick for that first safest landing uh, and, and you may compare it to different other places, but then the thought is in your mind, how long has it looked just like this? Yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's illuminated for uh, 13 and a half days with the sun crossing over, and that is totally dark. Uh, and this has uh, great effects on it, but it is uh, timeless except for the impacts here and there, and there certainly wasn't any evidence of anything within the last 100,000 years, uh, except very small things that grind that dust into very sharp molten spheres of glass that fracture, and it's a very sharp dust. It's never uh, 
worn by flowing water. It's never rounded. It's never rounded by winds blowing uh, soil uh, or all the things that happen to organic uh, soil uh, here. It, it, it's just totally different. The colors are all the same, just shades of gray and a black sky. See, see, I could come up with wonderful flowery words of what I saw and what I thought I'm awed by this. It's uh, surreal and yet I f fully know that this is real. We are there and we're given a tremendous responsibility to, uh, to, to behave as inquisitive explorers, carrying out the, the instructions uh, uh, that, that many people in the team have, have given us to the very best of our ability. And if you can't understand what that makes you feel like, then try going there yourself. <laughs>